Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today's Thursday, August 5th, 2021. Thank you for tuning in to Grand Solar Minimum channel's morning update. Let's get started. Our solar wind speeds are low at 299 even kilometers per second with a density of 8.3. Uh, we are expecting solar winds to increase on August 6th through the 7th. There are two, possibly three, corona holes in the sun's atmosphere that are Earth-facing today. Emerging streams of solar wind could reach our planet as early as tomorrow or as late as Saturday early morning on Saturday. But folks, I'm going to take the time with the two Earth-facing coronal holes right now that we have. KP indice is at a 0 and a 24-hour max is at a 1. I'm going to take this time to call out a earthquake watch between 6.5 and 7.1 in the next 36 to 48 hours. Now we've seen 8.2 in Alaska, and it's been quiet since that big earthquake. So where is this next one going to appear? Well, my guess is going to be somewhere right along the Ring of Fire, obviously. I'm going to stick with the obvious locations. But 6.5, this could be near Central America or South America even, somewhere in that region. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there for a quake watch between a 6.5 through a 7.1 in the next 36 to 48 hours based on the conditions of our sun right now. Uh, KP indice is low for the time being and the 24 hour max is also low. I want to look at AR2850 sunspot number 15, I'm sorry, 14 that is shrunk just by one from yesterday and there is a new area if you look at the very bottom on the southern region of the star to your left of your screen that would be the eastern limb on uh, the sun's um, side of things but anyway if you look down there in the bottom southern part region we are seeing some activity it could be another sunspot it's taken a while they have circled it over at spaceweather.com but i'm not sure if it possesses the dark cores yet to become a sunspot so we'll continue to monitor that we've had this uh, on our sun now for a couple of days and they just decided to circle it today as an area of interest so it'd be interesting to see if this actually forms Cosmic radiation dosage rates have not changed since yesterday. We're sitting at an 8.1%. Uh, zero change whatsoever. Still, 8.1% is kind of high. We are starting to see uh, cosmic radiation rates drop. Just by a little. Not a lot. But they are starting to decrease. Which means one thing, and that is Earth's magnetic shield is finally starting to strengthen because we are heading into another cycle of a maximum. So right now, we are seeing the effects of cosmic radiation decreasing because Earth's magnetic field is slightly strengthening. Uh, but you remember, when we were talking about this stuff in 2017, 2018, these are the similar conditions that we were dealing with. And there was a lot of memorable things that happened in 17 and 18. We had the beast from the east. We had the Orville Dam situation, which, by the way, I don't know if you guys have looked lately, but Orville Dam is suffering one of the lowest levels of waters in their dam ever I think I think ever the drought is so miserable out there just four years ago we were talking about Orville Dan not being able to structurally hold the water back anymore it was collapsing it was breaking we were scrambling to fix it so much snow melt and rainfall in Northern California that year Central California and now we're talking about four years later we went from a huge surplus to lack of water so Climate changes, how about that? It did it on its own too, guys. We had an abundance of water, and then it went into a drought. It had nothing to do with me or you. That's just the way things go sometimes. I'm sure in four more years, we'll be talking about <clears throat> Orville Dam uh, overflowing once again. And then four years after that, we'll probably be talking about drought. I don't know, though. I don't know. 2030s, we may not see a whole lot of drought in the 2030s, but time will tell. I know it's so cliche, folks, but you really have to stick to that phrase. All right, let's take a look at our weather forecast for today here across the lower 48. Today, we're going to see showers across the northwest, central plain states, into the Great Lakes, and I mean the northern plain side of the Great Lakes. I should say Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota, you're considered great, or northern plain. So let's just say Wisconsin and, and uh, Minnesota with showers across Iowa, parts of Nebraska, eastern Nebraska, central Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Showers in the south. Dry for you today in Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. 
Also at Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, New York, high pressure settling in. Beautiful weather. Temperature is going to be in the upper 70s here in the northeast region. Take a look at tomorrow, Friday. Yep, the weekend's here. Rain showers across the northern plain states again. Great Lakes also see some rain action. The south, a little bit wider area of showers across Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, and the Carolinas up into Virginia. Northwest, seeing some showers off and on. And southwest, getting some light rain. But again, the, the dominant thing here on this weather map is high pressure, which usually means a cooler air mass, drier air, so we're not seeing these juicy storms that we've been seeing all summer. And, and frankly, June and July have been very, very active when it comes to thunderstorm activity. Here so far in August, things are kind of taking a chill. Maybe it's just taking a temporary break, but it sure looks like things are starting to wind down a little bit. I hope I'm right. We don't need any more uh, bad weather, crop damage, flood damage, anything of that nature. We do still have... Hurricane season to deal with, and I'll show you a map. Well, actually, I don't know if I have one or not, but we'll check anyway. And we'll check out Saturday's forecast. Yeah, a chance for some severe weather across the northern Plains states, Minnesota, Iowa, uh, northern Iowa. Showers across the northeast from Ohio all the way to Maine and all the way down to Florida as well. So the east coast of the United States is going to have showers. Again, high pressure still dominating. So these aren't looked to be severe weather. These aren't going to be major events here. This is just your typical rain shower event. Dry in the northwest and in the southwest as they are still, still dealing with the persistence of this drought so far this year. It has been a wild summer for sure. I don't know if you guys remember in the, earlier in the year when I had mentioned that I felt like this was going to be a short, hot summer. And I feel like that is following in its footsteps so far. I can't 100% definitively say that summer is slamming the books, but things look a little peculiar. I will say that. Here is our hurricane watch right now, and right on cue, look at this. We have a wave forming off of Africa. This one's new, guys. 60% chance of uh, formation here, and this is as of today at 8 a.m. So 60% chance, and it's that far away. Usually these kind of storms are the ones that stick together. We also have another disturbance that has a 20% chance of formation in five days. So I would say the one back here off of Africa has a better chance of being a named storm. And the track that it's giving us right now, well, you can see it. Guys, take a look at Mike's weather page. He's got great information. No watches in effect. No storm watches. We do have some fire alerts and heat advisories in the northwest and the southwest. And like I said, just plain old rain right now for the majority of us here in the United States. No storms expected, no severe weather expected today. And as far as what are the chances from this wave from Africa actually holding up and becoming a hurricane? Well, um, besides the wind shear that we're gonna have to battle, we do have a lot of dust coming off of Africa. So we all know what the dust does to these storms. It absorbs the energy and it pretty much chokes them out. So we'll continue to watch these storms that are forming off the coast of Africa. It is August. This is the time of the year where hurricane season really starts to pick up. So we'll keep our eye on this, the wind shear and the dust. See if anything comes out of this. Maybe nothing. Who knows? Uh, it started off as a busy year in hurricane season. And now we're just looking at uh, some very, very slow activity uh, heading out from the Atlantic Ocean. Again, I want to reiterate, we are under a earthquake watch for the next 24 to 48 hours <clears throat> and we will um, we will update you if and when if this uh, this earthquake actually hits or not so it's just a watch and a lot of you are probably thinking well how do you come up with these ideas of a um, what do you call it earthquake watch and it's simple earth facing coronal holes low KP indices between zero and two. I look at the 24 hour and the 24 hour max. The now has to be around zero and one. The 24 hour max shouldn't be any higher than two. And usually when I see an earth facing corona hole, and it's not that big like the ones that we're seeing now, we usually get a moderate earthquake between six and seven. So we will keep you guys posted on that. That's how I come up with my watches. I'm not saying I have a formula here that's perfect and predicts them all, but it seems like every time I pick out 
uh, a date to watch. Uh, usually we get a six pointer, three, six point four from these coronal holes uh, that are earth facing. And the low KP indices also are my indicators of the next earthquake action. All right, folks, that's going to do it for me this morning on this Grand Solar Minimum update. We will try to do a show tonight. If not tonight, we will definitely do one tomorrow. Um, but for the most part, we will do these morning updates slowly but surely, folks. I'm getting back to my old self, so hopefully we'll do a show tonight or tomorrow. I will let you know either way. That's going to do it for me this morning. We hope everyone has a safe and happy day. Have a good one out there. We'll talk soon. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.